Hi, welcome along to another video. This time we're going to look at the United Arab Emirates, Thailand, Philippines, Pakistan, and there's a academic article right at the end, which we won't look too much at. Please subscribe and share, it helps a lot. So, to the United Arab Emirates, an article from the 5th of April, UAE to acquire advanced cloud seeding aircraft. The UAE's Weather Bureau is to add more advanced cloud seeding aircraft to its fleet. Announcing the deal on Wednesday, the National Centre of Meteorology said it had signed an agreement with Calidus Aerospace to acquire its advanced plane. The NCM said the WX-80 turboprop aircraft can carry larger quantities of cloud seeding materials and is equipped with sophisticated safety equipment and other systems. And you remember a couple of years ago, the UAE scientists upgraded cloud seeding to be up 100 more times effective. And there was secondary testing in Texas, United States about a year ago, year and a half ago. Over to Thailand, fires are under control. Focus has shifted to another area. So the firefighting efforts have been refocused with the Royal Rain Making and Agricultural Aviation Department being asked to conduct cloud seeding operations. So the weather modification is ongoing in Thailand. Philippines in the Manila Times. Reduced supply for Manila water. So keeping an eye on the situation and looking for the best alternative to keep the water supply stable and the MWSS, on the other hand, said it is prepared to do cloud seeding to induce rain, weather modification to induce rain. Climate modification. Pakistan needs to explore solar geoengineering potential. So we'll go through a bit of this. Experts have claimed that the country has recently emerged among the highly vulnerable and impacted countries due to climate change that demanded the stakeholders to invest in exploring solar geoengineering potential to reduce global warming impacts in the region to prevent erratic climate catastrophes. This is from the Comsats University and their recent study article have tried to research and analyse the solar geoengineering techniques and its possible outcomes with reference to Pakistan and other less developed countries facing equal climate risks and hazards. So just to comment on that, that they're trying to prevent erratic climate catastrophes, which is another way of saying extreme weather events. And we're seeing extreme weather events in areas that have weather modification activities. Pakistan has also had weather modification programs in the past. So changing the weather with weather modification and they need to sort out the climate because there's a climate problem. You don't need to be good at math to work out that one. So the Comsats University in Islamabad conducted the study and their study is funded by the UK based The Degrees Initiative. So we look at The Degrees Initiative in a second and another paragraph but speaking about a paper in 2022 and the authors of that article conducted a resources for the future funded solar geoengineering research to analyze stakeholders perceptions to improve understanding of the risks potential benefits and other uncertain implications of the solar geoengineering approach among three developing countries in the global south Pakistan, Nigeria and Kenya. The study examines their perspective via a total of more than 1,000 respondents in diverse fields such as policy makers and research scholars. Can't remember off the top of my head what Nigeria has been up to, but in a recent video I spoke about Kenya's weather modification program, which was related to tea production. Keep in mind when these people talk about solar radiation management and what that is, if you think 
that that isn't going to affect the weather you get, you've got another thing coming. The Degrees Initiative, putting developing countries at the centre of the solar radiation management conversation, climate modification conversation. For over a decade, the Degrees Initiative has led the world in building the capacity of developing countries to evaluate solar radiation modification, which we all know that's the complete wrong term for SRM. It's solar radiation management. Everyone knows it's solar radiation management. So are these people trustable? Probably not if they're using the term solar radiation modification. That's not what SRM is. The use or rejection of SRM could be one of the biggest decisions humanity has faced, and this matters most to climate vulnerable regions. Uh, Until the aliens show up. (laughs) Then there might be bigger problems. The world is going to need much more research if it's going to make informed decisions about SRM, and a much broader conversation if it's going to make equitable decisions. A broader conversation has the weather modification that's been carried out in many areas for the last 75 years brought certain areas to a tipping point which is now having an effect on that region's climate. How's that for a broader conversation? The Degrees Initiative is currently funded by Open Philanthropy. The previous funding sources include some of the names there, Carbon War Room, is uh, Richard Branson's one. If you click on the link to the Open Philanthropy link, it takes you to the Solar Radiation Management Governance Initiative from 2017, SRMGI, the Climate Pathfinders Foundation that they mention, also funds the Silver Lining Project, that's a Bill Gates project. This has all been covered in previous videos. And there's a link in the information section of this video to the website where those groups are broken down, such as the Silver Lining Project, SRMGI and others. FISA is mentioned, which is Carnegie's organisation, which is where Ken Caldera is active. Harvard's is David Keith. And back to Pakistan with that original article we just take in this headline, experts urge stakeholders to invest in solar geoengineering potential. It's all about the money. We finish up now with a paper from the National Center of Atmospheric Research. Won't go through this, but there's a link to it in the info section. Assessing responses and impacts of solar climate intervention on the Earth system with stratospheric aerosol injection protocol and initial results from the first simulations and you can go and absolutely fill your boots with that one so that was a quick roundup of some news be back with some more soon in the meantime look after yourselves take care see you next time